Hello and welcome to a new video. So today's video is going to be about decluttering and organizing your closet like a pro. So today's topic is actually something that I struggled a lot with uh, in the past and I struggled even more after becoming a mom, you know, like a, a new mommy. Personally, I just lost myself, you know, um, after giving birth, I had gained a little bit of weight. And what happened is that I was li like living in my pregnancy jeans. Um, which I had like two pair of them because it's very expensive <laughs> and what happened was that I, I just you know I was missing clothes in my in my closet so I just went shopping what happens when you go shop um, with a little bit extra weight and then you lose the weight you kind of end up with clothes that you no longer need or no longer can use and just just basically becomes this burden in your closet so and then a year after, lucky me, I lost the weight and I again looked into my closet and I was like, so what am I going to wear, right? I have no idea what to wear. Everything that I had before becoming a mom was like, because I was extremely simplistic. I was a minimalist before becoming like a mom um, and I was like, only had jeans, like I had 10 pairs of jeans, black jeans, skinny jeans. I had t-shirts and I had turtlenecks. I was like Steve Jobs, basically. Uh, but feminine <laughs> so I, I just I didn't I had no idea who I was and what was my style and I was like struggling in the morning to get dressed and then I was like sobbing looking at my closet and just saying what am I gonna wear and that was like pretty overwhelming for me um, especially you know my hormones were all over the place and I just just couldn't I just couldn't phantom looking at my closet so I just ended up using always the same thing and that just literally brought my self-confidence down i kind of didn't like myself in my body my body had completely changed my style completely changed my mentality changed and the need for a new closet was completely there right because my style in my head was completely passe i needed some color i needed uh, i needed just a big change so what did i do i went shopping <laughs> so you go shopping like it's a really bad idea to go shopping when you have no idea what your style is. Uh, like, it's a terrible idea to go shopping for food at the grocery store extremely hungry because you're gonna end up buying stuff that it's bad for you <laughs> in a way you know for food but you're gonna end up buying stuff that you saw in an instagrammer you saw in an influencer uh it looked great on her and so you want to look the same but you know our bodies are different and our styles are different and if we don't know our style we kind of need to you know go backwards and say okay so uh, what I, what what do I actually need here, right? And then you actually have a perception, a pure perception of your style, what you need. Like shopping lists for me are, you know, a savior. And then you start building your closet that actually fits your lifestyle, right? Which mine was being a mom. I was a stay-at-home mom back then because I had like 10, 11 months of maternity leave. Yay, Denmark, thank you so much. And basically, I just kind of, I wanted to feel cute, but I want to feel comfortable. So as you can see, I had to do something. I did something. And on this note, let me take you on a journey that it's going to blow your mind. And it's going to leave you with a very organized, super functional, satisfactory closet, right? Which is called a capsule wardrobe. When you have no idea what to wear, when you don't know your style, you go minimal. That is for me, at least it works for me because um, I just, I love minimalism because, and a minimal style, because it's a style that you fit everywhere. <laughs> you literally fit everywhere. Before, you know, we already had a capsule wardrobe back then. I had like one beater, no, I'm joking. I had one full 50 centimeters closet because we lived in a really small place and then I had like smaller getting smaller and smaller and smaller so I was like a few drawers here and there so I had like 50 centimeters uh, of closet space and then I had stolen 50 centimeters for my husband to put my coats I'll be in the next room if any dirty outlaw shows up give me a signal so that was basically the closet that I had so 
absolutely had a capsule wardrobe. <laughs> so if you want to see the video where I did a huge declutter of my room, extremely, extreme de declutter, you can always watch here. Um, but it was like I did a huge, huge declutter and organized. So after becoming a mom, making all these mistakes, filling up my wardrobe with just items that did not fit me, did not fit my style or my lifestyle, um, was something that I just had to fix, right? So this is where I come with the first solution for you. The first solution when you have a cluttered closet full of things that doesn't fit you and they're like worn out, holes, dirty, you know, it's like not something that you would take out to the street, right? Colors or just basically things that you don't like to see yourself in. They are not versatile enough. If you have a piece of clothing that you cannot uh, mix and match with more items, skirts, pants, shorts, then that item, that top does not go. That that top should not be in your closet, right? So that top you should like put in a maybe pile, okay? So. I had clothes piled up. I had this horizontal organization, which meant that I could not find anything. They were just stuffed in drawers. Um, the, the hangers were like completely unorganized because I had five different types of colors and materials. So it was just filled up and like, it was just a mess. And I kind of, you know, I have a little bit of OCD. So it was like, for me, it was a big trigger. And when you feel overwhelmed like this, you just feel like do nothing, right? That's literally what happens to me. So a capsule wardrobe is a curated collection of your favorite items, of pieces that you can mix and match with other items where you have a wide variety of outfits. They are versatile, which means that they can be worn season after season, timeless, so that means that it can last for a long time. Collection that you can just wear all the time, right? When I shop, I tend to look a lot into the manufacturing uh, labels, where it's made, uh, what is it made of, right? Furring quality pieces instead of cheap items from fast fashion, you know, fast fashion companies and billion making, uh, you know, dollar companies in the world, you kind of just, you know, become more mindless in terms of shopping. And you kind of curate this amazing wardrobe that completely fills and fulfills every occasion that you are going to need those clothes for. And also, if you didn't know about this, but average person only wears 20% of their clothes 80% of the time. The modern shopping model, which relies on rapid production and cheap deals, encourages excessive consumption as people are inherently attracted to low-priced goods. So on that note, it just means that when we have a smaller wardrobe with the right pieces, you will have a bigger tendency to wear more of our clothes. And you adopting a capsule wardrobe will be just an enormous and profound shift in your relationship with fashion and your shopping habits. the purge. <laughs> so decluttering my closet was a journey, right? A journey of self-discovery. I faced the emotional attachment that I haven't worn in years, the what-if scenarios, and the guilt of letting go. I mean, it was tough, but it was so liberating. I quickly learned that letting go of physical clutter really is parallel to your mental clutter. Yeah, actually it's therapy that offers you freedom and clarity. So building my capsule wardrobe was about embracing a more intentional and sustainable approach to fashion. I wasn't reinventing my style, I was just sprucing it up. I focused on classic and timeless pieces that I knew that I would wear over and over again. So these were my wardrobe essentials. The foundation of my style, it was about embracing fewer but more versatile uh, choices. When my capsule wardrobe in place, I turned into the art of organization. Let's go and get inspired a little bit on the Marie Kondo style of organizing things. So when you are organizing a drawer, for example, if you do not have shelves, um, the best thing you can do is basically organizing vertically. And sometimes, you know, I did, I did a little bit the mistake of organizing by color. If you're organizing jeans 
and you have black jeans and you organize by color, you can't get lost in the amount of jeans that you have. So what I did is that I would just alternate the colors. That worked for me. I don't know if it can work for you, but but for example, now that I have shelves, I have like clear shelves from Ikea, that means that I can just lay out the jeans on top of one and the other, and then I can see what I have. The other thing is that when you are putting hangers, try to look, um, I've seen some other YouTubers using very thin hangers, right? The thin hangers and, um, you know, uh, how do you say, velour hangers. Um, but I tend to go for the more natural, like wooden hangers. Why do I do that? Because first of all, they look nice, they look aesthetic. And the second of all is that they last for a longer time. Hang the pants, I hang shirts, I hang special tops, blazers, jackets, coats, uh, but I don't hang uh, no skirts, I hang the dresses, of course, but I just basically try to, um, I don't use colors, I go by uh, category. So I put the blazers all together and then I put, because again, you, I have that different way of organizing because then it becomes a little bit more, um, it doesn't, it's not as tricky in, in your brain, uh, because I am very minimal in my head, but if I get in there and I see that it's so monotone and it's so monochromatic, black, brown, blue, gray, that kind of tells my brain that it's very boring. So what I do is that, again, I'll, I alternate and then I kind of create this uh, funness in my closet, right? That's But that just, you know, works for me. I don't know if it can work for you. So here we are looking at my closet as it is right now this is all my favorite pieces and the pieces that i wear the most and then i've put on the transparent shelves the the, the sweaters and jeans and t-shirts basically i can just look and i can pick and choose whatever i want and get started with my morning with this my closet went from chaos to clarity and it was all thanks to a capsule wardrobe approach it, this wasn't just a physical transformation i was finally happy in the morning because i was looking forward to coming there and say I have something to wear and you know what helps as well is that when you take when you create your outfit and you kind of you know you're loving yourself you take a photo you take a photo then you create an album in your phone that says my outfits and then when you have no idea what to wear again you just go to your outfits and you'll have your inspiration for the day and you will know exactly where to pick and choose right it's so simple that uh, we're here to create your dream closet and i hope that i give you a little bit insight of what you can do i bet you can do it you can do it yes you can i know that you will have the realization that you can live with less but better and live and thrive with intention this capsule wardrobe it sounds silly but it's just it's not a trend this is not supposed to be a trend a lot of people are talking about it but it's just a way of living it's a lifestyle it's a shift it's just a different way of approaching life. It has simplified my life, it has deepened my connection and romanticized my connection to, to fashion. As a fashion designer, I always had that connection, but knowing and treating clothes with respect and cherishing them has actually just changed completely my approach to fashion. And then creating this deep connection, a very deep connection to my personal style has just transformed my overall uh, outlook and inlook uh, and gave me an immense sense of liberation. If you found this video helpful, give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So I can help you further how to create your dream closet, how to help you declutter, how to save money because you do save money by adopting the, 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 the capsule wardrobe concept. Uh, when you simplify your closet, you will enhance your life and that's what we want here, right? If you like this video, write down in, in the comments uh, which part you resonated with the most and you know, give us you know, your tips if you have any ideas or better ideas uh, on how to improve your closet and your connection to fashion. You know, share here with us because we would love to know where you stand. And also more questions or, um, you know, how to say, uh, requests or just ideas for videos that I can do uh, where you need the most help with. And I will see you on the next video, guys. So um, I hope that you have a wonderful week or a wonderful weekend. I don't know when you're watching this. And I will see you on the next video. I think I already said that. But time for watching. Oh, hi, hi. <laughs>